and it's actually given us confidence to have a go at a value-add business, which is a, we're in the process of a new startup venture. So I don't think if we'd had that experience through this program, we probably wouldn't have been in the stage that we were at. But I guess we both feel that having done a program like this was an excellent starting, starting platform for us. And from that, we've added bits and pieces to to what where we felt was some of our areas that needed <laughs> more growth. So yeah, it, it's a really thorough, very thorough and comprehensive course. Um, I would say to anyone who's out there thinking about doing it is to do it and just be very patient with yourself as well. Because if you're sort of listening to this for the first time, it can be like, ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm never gonna get it, but you do. You do. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we didn't. People would say that to us to stick with it and you'll get it. And then we're doing these. We used to do it start at Monday mornings from 8 to 12. And we were like, we're not going to get this. But then, yeah, <laughs> now, and then the penny drops. And you're like, actually, I get that. And I know what the cash flow is. And I know what my net profit margin is. And you're like, wow, actually, I am using, I yeah. understand what that is. And I'm using those terms. And I can tell you what those terms mean. Yeah. We pro- we didn't have a great understanding on the financial literacy of our business. Um, we were not confident in understanding our profit and loss. We had a budget <laughs> and we um, didn't know how to use our budget, our profit and loss um, and our end of year financial report from our accountant how to use all those three documents together so yes it was one of the main reasons we wanted to uh, do a course like this um we've learned a lot through the through the course um it's highlighted areas that we need to um, pay attention to and actually that our um, income tax um, report that we have doesn't really reflect the way that our business is run um, using the KPIs and uh, cash flow managers uh, the, and the budgeting and I guess because we're grain farmers using a you know we use an Excel spreadsheet to do our grain marketing and actually knowing those numbers we're actually making decisions on our business that aren't emotional they're actually uh, by the numbers and the numbers aren't lying so we've got a clearer understanding on how our business is and where we can actually make adjustments and save money and you know, where we're actually you know, making our money in our paddocks as well. I think for me personally, I had a great fear that I was going to always enter the wrong number and it was gonna you know, completely change everything, but, but I have slowly overcome that fear of um, entering in the wrong number and, and yeah, it, it's made us really become more aware of our input costs. Like Skeet said, we can make better financial decisions around our cropping enterprise.